Hi, my name is Elisa Quintana. I work at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center and I study planet formation. So today I want to look at whether Earth-like planets can exist around Sun-like stars if they don't have a Jupiter analog in their solar system. So to start off, why might Jupiter be a friend in forming an Earth-like planet? While Jupiter has a large uh, gravity, it perturbs a lot of material out of the solar system, and it sort of acts like a shield and protects the Earth from incoming comets and asteroids and a lot of large objects that could be detrimental to habitability. And why might Jupiter be a foe? Well, its large gravity can also pull a lot of material inwards that if Earth is hit hard enough, it could lose its atmosphere and oceans and all these necessary ingredients that we need for life. So to answer this question of whether Jupiter is a friend or foe, my team at NASA Ames performed hundreds of numerical simulations around a sun-like star, and we included Jupiter in half of those, and in the other half we didn't include any giant planets. So in each of these simulations, we tracked the evolution of all of the rocky bodies as they hit and collided. So we looked at our hundreds of numerical simulations, and we tracked all of the Earth analogs that formed, and we're also able to look at all of the impacts onto these Earth analogs. And if an Earth gets hit by a rock that has large enough impact energy, it has the potential to strip its oceans and atmospheres, and therefore it would not be habitable. So if you look at these two simulations we performed, on the left is a system with Jupiter and Saturn noted in uh, purple and yellow. On the right, we have a simulation where we didn't include any giant planets. What you can see right away is that planets form really quick in the, in the simulations without Jupiter. And that's primarily because Jupiter clears out a lot of the material. On the right, since we don't have anything perturbing the material out, we end up with this swarm of material that just orbits this inner solar system for billions of years. So let's talk about the conclusion from what we found. When you do have giant planets, Jupiter ends up really accelerating the objects and they end up hitting the Earth with really large impacts. And so they actually act more as a foe rather than protecting like a shield as was commonly thought. What ends up happening is you have higher energetic impacts onto these Earth analogs and Jupiter ends up acting as a foe. The other thing we found is that if you don't have a giant planet, you'll get less energetic impacts. However, you'll continue to get these impacts over long time scales. And so what that means is that over billions of years, maybe as life arises on these planets, it could get bombarded over and over again. And so you're very susceptible to these impacts over a longer period of time. So our relationship with Jupiter is complicated then. There are both pros and cons to having a Jupiter-like planet in your solar system. We think that Jupiter analogs are rare. Uh, we find that fewer than 10% of sun-like stars probably have a Jupiter like that in our solar system. We also think that Jupiter analogs are rare around low-mass M dwarfs. And this is a whole different regime because you have compact systems where periods are shorter and impact velocities are much higher. And so this is the next step that we're looking at to study. So thanks so much for watching and learning about Jupiter's role in our solar system. If you want to learn more, you can check out my paper that's linked below. So if you want to learn more about new exciting science, subscribe to this channel. Channel. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna watch this and go. <laughs> <laughs> Which I have to make up. Make up. <laughs>